This is a video on levels of learning in hypnosis and NLP. Hi there, this is James Tripp. This is a video for James Tripp, Chaos Wave and Hypnosis Without Trance. We're looking at levels of learning in hypnosis and NLP. Uh, this is a hugely important thing because there's a lot of people out there who are teaching quote unquote hypnosis skills. They're not really teaching skills. Uh, they're teaching very low levels of learning. In fact, if you go by sort of the Bateson's levels of learning, which, we're, which what we're looking at is loosely related to, really it's not really any kind of deep learning at all. And you know, if you, if you want to really be the best at what you do, if you want to be among the best in the world, and here's the thing, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you aim high? I recommend that to anyone who's looking to get into hypnosis, aim high. Even if you're just getting into it as a hobby, why not be one of the best in the world? Because you can, if you apply yourself. Um, but if you're going to apply yourself, if you're going to aim to be one, among the best in the world, well, you want to understand these levels of learning. Um, and I'm going to give you four levels of learning here. Now, the most basic level of learning you see in hypnosis, a lot of hypnosis sc uh, schools teach this, is script reading. Script reading. In fact, I went on a training, was it last year? Or was it the year before? I can't remember. It was, uh, it was a certificate in um, evidence-based hypnotherapy. And basically, it was seven days of getting some interesting information about hypnosis and being given a book of scripts to read. Now, this is level zero learning. If you're going to map this across the Bateson's levels of learning, this is level zero learning. Basically, there's no learning happening at all here. Even if you memorize the script, it's a very basic form of kind of rote learning. There's no skill in this. There's no pattern extraction. There's no understanding. So if you want to up your game, you need to move beyond scripts as quickly as possible. And the next level up beyond scripts, uh, we could call the process level. So people are working on the level of processes and techniques where they have uh, a format to follow that they can plug different content in, so there's no more flexibility here. And they have a little bit more uh, available to them insofar as um, the choices they make around the rate and speed they move through the process and this kind of thing. But it's still not overly sophisticated. It's a sort of more sophisticated level than the scripts level, but it's not outrageously sophisticated and it really seriously lacks flexibility. So as soon as the client isn't gelling with that kind of processing, or if you're looking at hypnosis in a different context, maybe uh, hypnosis out there in the world, as soon as the person isn't flowing with it, there's not really a lot you can do. You can't really, um, you, you can't really make adjustments or hack where you're going at that point. So you want to move up to the next level. And the next level is skill. Now, so far as I'm concerned, this is the most fundamentally, you know, this is the most basic level. So the, what, for a lot of people, is quite high level, or at least, up, uh, you know, up the levels, for me is where you want to start out. You want to be working on developing skills, because the fact is, you can't even run processes well without skills. So you want to develop skills. Now, skills are inherently more flexible. When you have skills, you can adapt, you can change, you can flow in the moment um, in response to what comes up from the person you're working with. So skills is really where it's at. Uh, I highly advocate people focusing, they develop on the level of skills. Um, the thing about skills though is they're still very context specific. The way we're using the term skills here, they're very context specific. So what we really wanna do is move up a level from that, which is to the level of attributes. Attributes are like, they're, they're actually very highly refined skills that are generalizable. So if you look at the level of attributes, um, they start to move outside of, co outside of context and move cross contextually. I'll give you an example of this. There's a classic uh, story of Milton Erickson being on a plane heading off to, um, he's heading off to a meeting that's occurring in which a big decision is gonna be made. They're gonna be making a decision on whether to uh, advocate hypnosis as a uh, modality that is acceptable to the American Medical Association. And Erickson finds himself on a plane, sat next to one of the people who's going to be the, an influential decision maker. And so the story goes, when Erickson gets on the plane, he starts talking to this guy. And this guy's quite against hypnosis, but at the time he gets off the plane, he's quite for hypnosis. Um, and the thing about Milton Erickson is Milton Erickson was essentially a psychiatrist and a therapist, but he developed a very high level of expertise and attributes. And he was known for being highly influential wherever he went and wherever he was. So if you look at 
hypnosis skill, that high level attributes kind of thing, it, it puts you in a position where you can start being more influential because you have a deep embodied understanding of the mechanisms of hypnosis, influence, human psychology, these kinds of things that are applicable cross contextual. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, maybe you're having a business meeting, maybe you're having a conversation with a loved one, maybe uh, you know, there's, there's a, a project that you're looking to steer in a particular direction, whatever it might be, whatever you're doing in life, when you're operating at this highest level, this attributes and capabilities level, um, this to me is rocking hypnosis at its highest level. And this is where I would encourage people to aim for. Now, one of the mistakes that some people make, some people recognize this and they want to be able to work on the attributes level and they try and dive in at the attributes level and they try and bypass the skills level. That's often quite difficult to do. Going back to this idea that the skills level is about being context specific, it's really useful to get some specific context to develop skills so as you can then use them as um, environments from which attributes can emerge that you can start applying cross contextually. Although I would bring some conscious learning at that um, attributes level as well. Okay, so that's basically four levels of learning in hypnosis and NLP or any skill actually, whatever it is that you wanna do. If you're operating at the attributes level, um, those attributes are gonna serve you in life, not just in the context in which you are looking to uh, apply your skill. Okay, so if this video is uh, of interest to you, if it makes sense to you, uh, if you like the concept, if it's enlightened you somehow, please do click like for the video. And if you want to get more of these kinds of videos or similar videos, um, you'll want to hit subscribe and you'll want to hit the notifications. Hitting the notifications is hugely important. There is a comment section below. If you have any questions relating to this video or otherwise, please do make use of that comment section and uh, who knows, maybe your question, maybe your comment will drive a future video. Okay, so until the conversation continues, take very good care.